This recipe has been in my family for generations and I'm happy to share this with you because it's the best. Welcome to Good Food and Tours Jamaica. We'll be cooking cornmeal pudding today. Man, this tastes so good. You can't miss this. Stay tuned. Dash in some butter or margarine. Add some pimentos. Add some nutmeg. Mix it around and ensure that all the spices are given its precious time to release their flavors into the margarine. Add your milk, your coconut milk that is, your water. Give that a big mix. Now, it's time for the sweetness. Add that brown sugar. Mm, mm, mm. A little salt to balance it off. Some browning because we love color in our Jamaican food. Shake off that little browning in the pot. And of course, mix it around again. Time for some flavoring. Add your vanilla. Okay, go ahead now and add your coconut milk powder. This enhances all the coconut milk that was added already. Because we want, we want more coconut flavor. Oh, that's cinnamon by the way. Okay, so once everything has come to a boil, go ahead and just strain it off. What we're trying to do here is to get the pieces of nutmeg or the pieces of pimento out because we do not want to eat our pudding and have these fragments in our mouth once everything has been strained we pour it back onto the stove we add our raisins we add our mm, 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 shredded coconut give it a taste to ensure that everything is blended and perfect but it wanted more coconut so i added more dried coconut milk Everything tastes good, but it smells so much better. Okay, so before you add in the cornmeal and the other stuff, take out approximately three quarters of a cup of the liquid and leave that for later. Now add your cornmeal, your flour, your whole wheat flour, and then quickly go ahead and stir that around. Yes, mix it around and around and around. What we're doing here is part cooking the ingredients that they cook faster in the oven. So after five minutes of cooking your cornmeal pudding on the stove, you should go ahead now and place it in a well greased baking pan. I'm using eight inch right here. I just use a spoon and scrape off everything off my spatula and I press down that's my little daughter hand in the corner right there <laughs> okay remember this liquid that I told you to reserve now we're gonna use it take a little bit and use it to like smooth out the top help you to smooth it out okay so pour just a little bit of that liquid on top and leave some for later Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 1 hour and 20 minutes. After 30 minutes of baking, pour some more liquid on top. And when you only have 25 minutes left, pour the remaining liquid. And man, this is how you get that moist coated surface and the best pudding. Thanks for watching.